do got, got two more quick questions before we go. The first one is yes, sir. How, how old does a person have to be to own a Bitcoin or a digital currency? Is there like a you have to be 18 in order to own it? No, sir. There is there is really no age limit. I have friends that are setting up wallets for their children. Okay. Just okay. just you know, I, I so there is no age limit. You know, there okay. is there is no you know, and like I said, it's borderless. There is no border. You can do this, you know. If you were in if you were in Dubai and you wanted to create a wallet from where you're located in Dubai, there's there's nothing to stop you from doing that. So this okay. that's the that's that's the beauty of uh of digital currency, man. This it's it's an asset class for everybody and there's like no restrictions. Everybody can everybody can be a part of it, right? There there's certain okay. things that we're not we're not we're not privy to be a part of, you know, in, in this world. But right. uh digital currency is not one of them. It's it's something okay. for the people, you know. Gotcha. So thanks. And I got one more question. Man. It's got to be some behind the scenes technology that you talked about with, you know, like blockchain and stuff like that that makes this system work, right? For potential investors that want to look at those companies and invest money in those companies, any ones that you kind of like to say that, okay, they're doing it the right way, I might put some money into them because this is going to be around for a long time and they're doing it the right way. Any. I don't want you to give any stock tips or anything, but no, right, right. Okay. I, I will say this. I'll usually give my little disclaimer of it. You know, you <laughs> you have to do your own research, right? But I'm I'm gonna I, I can give you those tools on how to do that research as well. But uh there are there are quite a few projects that I am uh, pretty excited about and that, that I do invest in uh myself. Um of course Bitcoin and Ethereum being one. I hold I hold both of those, both of those assets, both of those uh coins. Okay. Uh one an, another one. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about. Oh, I'll give you another one. One there's one called Cardano. Okay. It's C A R C A R D A N O Cardano. Okay. Uh, is an is another project. Um, I I would advise people to look into and and even at the the prices right now for Cardano, I I there it is less than fifty cent a coin right now. Oh wow! You know? okay. So it's yeah, it's 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 in in the last the last bull run. I think it. Uh, I think we got it like a 10 X 10 X return last bull oh, run. Wow. You know, okay. so depending on, depending on how much you had invested, you know, if you had $5,000 invested, you just, you know, 10 X that's 50, $50,000 for whatever you were holding. So, oh. um, yeah, these, these coins move, man. When they're during the bull, during the bull market, when that, when that starts back up, uh, you're going to, you're going to see a lot of some, some good price movement. Right. And, and you're going to okay. see some bad price movement too. But if we're, if we're investing in the right, uh, specific projects, then um, you know you, you're definitely gonna you know, you're make you're gonna make some good money. It's, it's life changing money, seriously. Uh, okay. Another another one I would say one I'm pretty excited about is uh, is called the uh, Happy Protocol, and it's spelled H A P I. All right, H A P I, okay. and and Happy focuses more on the it's almost twofold. They focus more on the cybersecurity side of things, which is really important. We, we, okay. we're going to need, we're going to need cybersecurity for any digital assets. You know, cybersecurity is going to be paramount, right? So this happy specifically, they, they kind of focus on the cybersecurity side, but they also focus on the auditing side of things, uh, okay. which is something that's, that's something that's missing right now, uh, right. in the crypto space be, uh, because we had a, uh, one one folks might know about uh ftx how that whole you know that made the news uh, ftx and bankman free you know he's serving time right now but uh he had that huge exchange and and they were you know they were not being audited because if they were they wouldn't have got away with a lot of stuff they were essentially using people's money to invest in other projects you know and and, and buying houses and all types of crazy stuff but anyway they can read up on that and and, and look into that but um yeah, you you definitely uh, you, you want to be careful. Um, you want to, uh, like I said, go with a uh, a company that like Coinbase. Uh, somebody who, you know they're they're a publicly traded company on the stock exchange, so you know, they're, they're pretty safe. You know, there are some others too, but okay. um, but but yeah, but Happy is a, another one of the coins. Uh, happy Protocol. If you Google Happy Protocol, it'll tell you all about it. Um, okay. And one thing I want one thing I want to say, Corey is any project even the ones i just named right now uh 
every project should have something called a white paper. Uh, okay. One word, white white paper. The white paper essentially um, goes into the entire blueprint of what this company, what, what it goes into what they're trying to accomplish. It goes into how they're going to accomplish it. And it also usually traditionally it has uh, investors who's investing in this in this particular project. So that's okay. one of the things I look. Yeah, that's one of the things I look at as well. I look at who else is investing in this uh, that that are known, you know. And you got companies like IBM, and there's another big company called Sephora. And there's a you know there there when I when I those are uh, you know when I see those big names, I'm like, okay, I know who these people are. And if their money is good enough for it, then my money should be good enough for it. Okay. So it's just just a few things you want to look at. White papers. I I, I wish I would have brought that up uh, earlier, but that's super important to uh, really dig into the white paper. Even Bitcoin has a white paper. You know, okay. so if people people that know nothing about Bitcoin, just Google Bitcoin white paper, um, and it'll it'll go into you know h- how it was created, why it was created. And uh, what you can do with it, and and you know, so on and so forth. Okay, I mean, you just gave me some professional tips. I'm, uh, I think I need an NEL white paper, man. Not that we got a Bitcoin, but <laughs> give them that. Y'all doing the research? This is what we got going on. All right. Yes, sir. We can make it happen. I'm gonna add that white paper terminology as number six. All right. So people, here we go. Dig into that. So, man, look, I want to say thanks for your time, man, for uh, dropping these this these information on us. That's engineering related, financial related, investment related, and lifestyle related. Because if you invest the right way, man, in a couple of years, you know, you could be doing something different with your time, right? A hundred percent, man. You only got to be right once. You know, you hear that, you hear that a lot. Man. So you, man, you, you can get a t-shirt made with that one on it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be right once. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, you would definitely want to diversify. What, what was that? No, I was, I was saying you definitely want to diversify. You 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 don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. So you know, again, going back with what I said, multiple streams of income, and and digital currency, you know, being a new asset class, um, is is one that you want to be a part of. It's it's some life changing money uh, that can be made um, right. during you know investing with digital currency. Okay, look, where I got some homework to do myself, man, because I don't know if you can see I'm taking notes. I'm always an I saw you. Yeah. And I'm gonna challenge some of my young young brains to to start looking into this because some of the students that we got in our program, man, they are sharp, right? They like to solve problems. I don't want them to just be working for a company, uh, solving the company's problems, and getting a little bit of crumbs that the com- company sends them, right? I want them to be designing right. this new technology, right? Understand what to put their money at so they can become multimillionaires instead of getting it the traditional way. Let's use our brain, our creativity, and the technology that's out there and an the innovative way to do things to start making money. You know what I'm saying? So that's the challenge. Absolutely. We're glad to have you on the team.